Yes. W what are some of the biggest strides, not just for Ecuadorians or Hispanics throughout Hudson County, that you've seen since living here? I was going to say the biggest thing here is uh, jobs for the Hispanics. It's very difficult for us to get jobs. And the reason is, you know, it's very difficult for us to compete with the American market, especially a lot of us are handicapped, not having the proper training. And that's what it's all about, trying to teach education to our community. Uh, in English is a barrier for a lot of us, and the idea is to make sure that, you know, we uh, get them education. And that's what it's all about. For me, education has made me a doctor, made me a colonel in the Army, and now made me the mayor. So education is very fundamental in my in my leadership in uh, town hall. Ecuadorians, like all Hispanics, always face a lot of language barrier issues once, once, once coming here, even assimilating. Right. What, does, what do governments locally have to do to try to help Hispanic residents? Right now what we're doing is we're establishing ESL classes in the evenings for the students. We're actually encouraging more education. We're working on different kinds of loans for the businesses uh, and people so they are able to compete. And that's what, you know, we have uh, the finance uh, department, uh, which is uh, headed by uh, Commissioner Frias. We're actually working into microloans to help the uh, local community, not only the Ecuadorian, but the rest of the community. We're actually, uh, again, we're actually uh, in the library. We have ESL programs at night. So uh, the fundamental thing is education. Yeah. Uh, obviously, it's a great day for not just being Hispanic in general, but, I mean, overall, being Cuban yourself, I mean, what do you have to say about the sort of turnout for things like this here in, in, on Bergenland Avenue? I wish we had a bigger turnout. There's more Ecuadorians than what you see here in the streets. Uh, but this is not a, in, even though we're celebrating Ecuador, we should be celebrating Hispanics. And we have a huge Hispanic community, 78% of the uh, of the population in West New York is uh, compromised of Hispanics. So it's a huge uh, Hispanic community, and we have to work for it with everybody. And I'm going to say they're all special to me and the Ecuadorians. I, I do have a lot of patience from Ecuador, and I love them. They're great people. I mean, Rookie, I mean, it is a day for festivities, but politically-wise, though, I mean, obviously we know what's going on here in West New York. Uh, any plans on stepping down anytime soon, despite any cries for it? I'm going to say I'm a soldier. So when I begin the march, I continue the march. Uh, in this country, the best, the legal system is great. That's why I love being in this country. In Cuba, you would have been in jail already and tried and convicted and prosecuted and, and shot. Uh, the beauty of this country is that we could do, you know, the, the legal system lets you... Take, takes you to where the correct place is going to be. So you have no plans to resign at all? Oh, not at all. I, and I tell you, the people of West New York put me in power, and the people of West New York will take me in power. And if you were to do a polling in West New York, everybody's very happy with, with the way I'm functioning. I lower the taxes. First time in more than 15 years we were able to do that. We were able to reduce the budget. People are, are you know, saying how the streets are clean. The security in West New York is improving. So overall, we've done a great job. In less than a year, we did all of this. So my goal is to continue doing this. I'm also a doctor, so I'm also concentrated on my private practice of being a doctor. But West New York means a lot to me, and I'm going to keep fighting to make it better. And I love being here in West New York. Thank you, Mayor Roque, for your time. And thank you for the interview. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.